I thought I would take an opportunity to bring you out to the greenhouse to show you what we have growing out here. Today's going to be the first night. I'm going to keep them in here overnight. I think the temperature will be fine. We have some kale here, different kinds of kale and different flowers and vegetables. I'm going to try Brussels sprouts this year. We have borage, broccoli. Oh, where do you see this? Look at this. Microgreens. I'm very excited about this. I've been growing this for about a week now. And here we have a kale trio, which is three different types of kale. And here is broccoli clover and alfalfa. And I have already tested these. And they are delicious. And I intend to eat them. I make salads and Frank's going to eat them too. We're trying to be healthier. And, uh, and this is a way that we are trying to do that. Over here is some kale, more kale, different kinds of kale. I've been growing this for a while. This will be the first spring, uh, early spring stuff to go in the ground when it's ready. And over here we have four o'clock flowers growing there, dahlia, some Swiss chard, cosmos. We've got some herbs down here. Uh, spicy bush basil in the back there. Other kinds of basil. I think I have five different kinds of basil. Uh, and then I have some other stuff here that I'm just experimenting with to see if this stuff will grow early. I've been growing it in the house since the end of January. You can see there, January 29th. So I've just been moving it around the house into the sun on my grow mats. I've had them under my grow lights. I've brought them out here in the greenhouse during the day when it's warm. Um, and now tonight I feel like they are ready to stay the night. So I am out here to wish them well and to document all the different ones that I have growing early for the season. Thanks to all of my um, artificial ways of growing things that I have created in my basement. So I'm excited to hopefully get these planted and, and growing in the ground soon. Soon. So I'm doing a process called hardening off and um, really hoping that they make it the night and they're strong and they're healthy. Uh, except these, the microgreens, I will take them in. They seem like uh, they are a little bit fragile and they are. I just wanted them to soak up some more sunshine uh, to uh, allow their leaves to take in some more chlorophyll because that is the prime reason why you would eat these is for the chlorophyll and for all the health benefits of the chlorophyll. So that is it for now. That is a tour around the greenhouse. Just thought you might want to see what's growing. Signing off for now.